We'll take all this information and organize it into a linear programming chart. If you can do the chart without answering these preliminary questions, then that's fine. You don't really have to answer those questions. Here I have a column for food and a column for clothing. I have a row for weight, a row for cubic feet. The cubic feet, that's the volume. And each carton of food, this is your recipes right here. I'm gonna mark that off, highlight that in yellow. And I'm gonna say, I'll put a little arrow. That's the recipes in yellow. So one carton of food weighs 40 pounds and it takes up 25 cubic feet. One carton of clothing weighs 20 pounds and it takes up five cubic feet. Are we only gonna send one carton of food? We have this big airplane. Are we gonna send one carton of food? No, or two, three? What would we like to do? Let's send as much as we can and in fact, they're wanting us to find how many cartons of food to send, how many cartons of clothes. Let's let food be X, the number of cartons, and clothing is Y. Let's fill in people helped. People helped, there are 11 people helped with the food and there are five people helped with the clothing. I'll put that in a different color. And what I've put in orange, that's the makings of the objective function. I'm going to try to clean that up a little bit with 11 people helped with food, five with the clothing. Food being X cartons, you're going to take that X and put it next to each of the numbers in the food column. And clothing being Y, we're going to take Y and put it next to the numbers that are in the clothing column. The limits, that's the ca capacity of the airplane. What's the weight limit of the airplane? 24,000 pounds, put that in the space for limits. Cubic feet of the airplane is 9,000 cubic feet. To get the constraints and the objective function, we'll read these lines straight across. Do I have to pack 24,000 pounds in the airplane? Do I have to? No. If you're taking a trip, What's the weight limit on your luggage? 50 pounds or so? 50 pounds. Do you have to pack 50 pounds? No. Can you pack more than that? You'll pay a penalty, right? Well, on this airplane, we cannot pack more than 24,000 because, well, we'll pay a penalty for that. Read this straight across. The weight from the food, which is 40X, plus the weight from the clothing must be less than or equal to 24,000. 
That's one of the constraints. I'm going to write it in the space for constraint. 40x plus 20y is less than or equal to 24,000. For the volume in the airplane, same thing. We'll read it straight across. The volume, which is the space, the space the food takes up plus the space the clothing takes up has to be less than or equal to 9,000. So the constraint is 25x plus 5y is less than or equal to 9,000. The objective function, I'm going to read it straight across. Our book uses z for the objective function. In fact, the people helped. We're just going to call that z. Z equals 11X plus 5Y. I'm going to write that in the space for objective function. So your job from here, kind of typed up right here on the worksheet, graph the constraints, find the X and Y intercepts, find the point of intersection, then we're going to, let's fill this in, I, I need to include it, shade the feasible region. 